What does that mean? The brain is a verb and not a noun. Your brain is originally created by your genes, you know, since every organ in our bodies comes from our genes. But then it is sculpted by experience. Okay, and that's all kind of experience. Right now as I'm speaking to you, your frontal cortex is being activated because you're listening to me, absorbing this information, analyzing it, um, reflecting on it, hopefully. So my thoughts are influencing neural activity in your brain right now. In order to do that, I have to activate your genes because these neural networks are actually neural firings that require protein, etc. So I'm activating your genes right now in this part of your brain, the frontal cortex. If we were having an emotional conversation, I would be activating your genes in a different part of the brain, the limbic brain. If it was a threatening conversation, it would be the reptilian brain, which is, feels scared. But not only am I activating your, your neural networks, you're activating mine just through your body language, okay? because I'm trying to see how you're responding. But there are people out there watching us on television. We're activating their neural networks. So you start to realize that through the internet now we are also creating a global brain, mm -hmm. okay? And what is the relationship between our minds and the brain? This is, today it's in science, it's called the mind-body problem or the mind-brain problem. Does the brain produce your mind? Does the mind produce your body? Or are they both the same thing and arising from a deeper, more fundamental reality.